Hi YouTube, uh, it's Frank again. So today um, I'm gonna be reading another artist statement for you guys. Sorry, I'm walking down to my recording studio. Um, so I'm gonna read another artist statement. This was for a series of five paintings that I did in the winter of 2021, so last winter, about a year ago, of um, uh, a series of paintings based on shock images. It's the ones that I made that video about, uh, the, the video I did about the, um, the album cover that my work is on. So the, the paintings are, if you know them, say it with me, Tub Girl, uh, Goatsy, One Man, One Jar, Blue Waffle, and Lemon Party. So I have this statement here, and um, I'm just, I'm just going to read it. Uh, <clears throat> and I'll, I'll, I'll show them on screen. Here are five oil paintings of images from the internet that, cultu that culturally in the late 2000s were considered to be shocking or horrifying. Uh, though horrifying, many people who grew up alongside the internet in the 2000s are familiar with these images, or at the very least, images that are similar. Um, <clears throat> here, I am paying homage to this content by taking the time to paint it thus paralleling similar efforts present throughout art history prior to the invention of photography. In addition, these works, these works soften the blow of this imagery so that it is more approachable to an uninitiated viewer. Um, sorry, my arm is tired. Um, these paintings are referential to the conventions of photography yet they still are very obviously paintings. At points, the painting tapers off into negative white space where thick white paint uh, has been applied in areas to further emphasize the presence of paint. Um, in addition, one inch margins border each piece, allowing the gestural lines that the image breaks off into to abruptly stop in order to remind the viewer that this is a painting on a canvas. I have taken the liberty to greatly exaggerate the color in each photo as well. When looking at these paintings, one can see the technical understanding of color present uh, and the purposeful choice to break that rule in order to let the margins or to let the images painted become even further removed from their sources and to an extent move more towards abstraction. So yeah, that's the statement. And also, um, this body of work, and if I remember, I'll, I'll edit some of some pictures in. Uh, these works, these paintings were also in a, a show at Maria Neal Art Gallery in like February of 2022, I believe. Um, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is the show card. The show is called Ransoms of the Body. Look, look who that is. That's my Lemon Party painting. So yeah, thank you, Adam and John, for letting me have this opportunity with some other artists. Uh, Zoe, Alexa, and Nicole for, for letting us use your space for this cool show. So that was my statement for my shock paintings. Um, so yeah. <laughs>